Okay, so quick project today. My SO has these thing for fairy lights. They're all over the house. These cheap ones, I don't know. Fairy lights, string lights, I don't know what you might call them. They run on triple A's. And to be honest, I hate them. I hate buying them. I hate charging them. I just hate them. I love the lights though. They're really nice. These are cheap. These ones are from Primark. Quite cheap. Two euros fifty, so very cheap. But I would like to convert them to use USB power. So that I have this spare USB cable lying around. I'm also gonna need some resistors. In this case, it's twenty-two ohms. Don't ask me how I got to it. I have no idea. Got some random stuff about it that might be good. So <clears throat> here we are. Yeah, so let's get building. So let's take this thing apart. These ones are actually quite nice. Um, I love the light they put out. They also have three position switch. So like uh, on and uh, the middle switch. That would be eight hour timer. That's why inside there's a crystal. Don't know if you can see it. But yeah, I like them. So, in order to do this, I'm gonna take my USB cable. Some kind of, maybe this will work. It's a wire stripper. Meh, good enough. Now, actually I'm gonna need a lot more cable than this. Well, this is quite painful. Okay. This looks like a good quality cable. Shielded and everything. But I'm uh, just playing around in my random box of things. So inside, we're gonna need just the red and the black cable which is red would be positive black would be negative so it should be clean this out a little bit okay so battery contacts are here would be positive here with this little wire running down would be negative so i'm just gonna solder to them don't need to go too fancy this strip it no it cannot so I'm gonna use box cutter or it's not intended purpose and just strip it back the other two cables I don't need so I'm just gonna snip them off Hopefully they don't touch each other, but it should be fine. And so, okay, let's twist these, see if my soldering iron is up to temperature. So we can solder these wires to the pads here. Older. Oh, actually, before I do that, huh? no, no, where's the case? Do I need a hole in it? Yeah, nah, should be alright. So, solder. here. So I'm going to try to get some solder on these wires. Are they even taking the solder? Yeah, yeah. it is. So it's like real copper. But 
Let me zoom you in a little bit. thing just to make it easier to solder to great let's snip them off to a reasonable size okay so solder on the positive I guess. Let's get a resistor. Snip off the legs to a more reasonable size. Get some solder on them too. soldering iron. See, I don't do that much soldering, but this kind of pasty thing, it's not that great, but it should do the job. So I'm just gonna twist the legs together slightly. tubing on it. Oh, 
last one. Reasonably sized. Yeah. So, not tubing. Make sure it doesn't touch anything. It shouldn't. Be it ready to work with a power bank or a plug adapter. Let's use my power bank here. Plug it in. Yeah, there we go. And that's it. Now, no more need to buy batteries. Looks like the same intensity. Depending on the resistor you use, you might go too big or too high, then the drop over the resistor would make the LEDs dimmer, which is not necessarily a problem, especially for these, they are basically ambiance lights, not necessarily made to put out a ton of light. But if you go around the wrong way and you put a lower, uh, even lower resistor, then it can make them way too bright and won't last as long. As it is, they should last years, and even on this power bank, it should last for hours and hours. They don't use up that much current. Well, that's it. Quick and easy. Give it a shot. It's not that difficult. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.